Hey, Peter, you can't drink that outside. You, you can end up in jail. And not the good jail, like on Cinemax, the man jail. Go back and pay the bill, Peter. You, uh, don't want to break the law. I can do whatever I want. Watch this. Oh, now you're just being crazy. Hey, that's against the law. You're coming with me. Uh, uh, uh. Can't touch me. Attention, delegates. This session of the United Nations is hereby convened. Man, this sucks. Hey, podium guy! Hey, I got a problem here. Excuse me, some of us are here to learn. No one's talking to you, Albania. Is there a problem back there? You bet your funny accent there's a problem. I'm stuck up here in the nosebleeds. I am president of Pretoria. I want a better seat. Oh, of course. How could we not have recognized the great nation of Pretoria? <laughs> have a seat up front. Well, that's more like it. And hey, would you also like a special satellite that can scratch your ass with a laser beam from space? They have those? <laughs> Hi, how you doing? <laughs> you mind if I, uh... They don't respect you. What do you mean? Listen to me. I used to be the laughing stock around here until my country invaded Kuwait. Now I have a seat in the third row. Look, the only way to get any respect around here is to find something you want and just take it. Wait a second, if everybody respects you, how come you're still eating here by yourself? I don't shower. Oh, that's what that is. Take what I want, huh? <laughs> Good morning, Joe. Uh, Peter, what are you doing to my pool? Oh, this is the newest province of Pretoria. I call it Joe-hi-o. What? You can't just come over here and annex my pool. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, according to paragraph 7, sentence 3, word 8 of the Geneva Convention, the. So, tough luck, Swanson. So, as you can see, Pretoria has invaded U.S. soil. What are our options? Well, a military strike against such a small nation could cause an international backlash. True, but this kind of behavior can't be tolerated. Agreed. I suggest we start with political sanctions. Very good, gentlemen. Well, I guess the world will show me a little more respect now. Dad, I tried to go to school, but this guy won't let me. Oh, yeah? Him and what army? The U.S. Army. Oh, that's a good army. The scene outside the U.S. Pretorian border as the sun rises on day one of Operation Desert Clam. Good morning, I'm Diane Simmons. We now go to Tom Tucker, live at the site of the U.S. blockade. Tom. Diane, I'm here at the Pretorian front where the U.S. has cut off electricity, water, and gas to the tiny four-bedroom republic. The situation is very tense and extremely dangerous. <whistles> and now sports. Lois? Over here, honey. I'm chopping carrots for a salad. Here, use this headlamp. Hey, where's the kids? Upstairs, doing their homework by candlelight. Damn pig dog Americans messing with my family like this. You know, it's just, uh, it's just, uh, you know. Peter, I'm up here. Oh, sweetie, maybe you should go over to Joe's and return his pool, huh? Forget it. We're a real country, and we deserve all the rights and privileges that everyone else gets. But we have to think about the welfare of our children. Stewie, is that you? Look, Lois, my mind is made up. I'm not giving up an inch of Pretorian soil. It's not a sign of weakness to compromise. I just think you should... Peter, stop staring at my chest. Oh, yeah, sorry, Lois. <laughs> And we're back with our roundtable discussion on the Pretorian crisis. Uh, you were making a point, John? Yes, what the United States is doing to Pretoria right now is criminal. <sighs> Nonsense. Force is the only thing a despot like Peter Griffin understands. Oh, fine. Uh, Why don't uh, we just uh, drop uh, a bomb uh, on that? All right. Uh, uh, what about that, Eleanor? Oh, it's, well, it's ridiculous, clearly. I mean, he's a factory worker, not a despot. You're missing the point. Our blockade is turning Pretoria into a third world country. <laughs> Okay, can anybody tell me what the square root of the hypotenuse is when... Chris, is that a note? No. Yes, it is. Would you like to read it for the rest of the class? No. Just read it, Lardo. I think Mrs. Griffin's hot. Go to your room. Damn you, Rupert! Keep these loathsome insects away from me or you'll end up like Mr. Giraffe. Hi, I'm Susan Sarandon. 
A lot of you know me as Tim Robbins' mother, but I'm actually his girlfriend. And this is Stewie. What the deuce? For less than the ticket price of one of my movies about capital punishment or neo-feminism, you can make sure that Stewie never goes hungry again. Yes, and from the look of those sweater cows, so can you. Good morning, subjects. What's for breakfast? Nothing, you idiot. We don't have any food. Peter, this has gotten way out of hand. Look at what we're reduced to. Our own baby has to use newspapers for diapers. No, 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 th this is fine. One second, I'm just about finished with Family Circus. <coughs> there we are. Who did that, Jeffy? Not me. My God, I haven't seen everyone this miserable since that time we were tortured. Well, I'm sorry. W w were you just whipping me, or did I just, did I just get bit by a mosquito? Hey, Lois, if, if, you, if you happen to see the Dungeon Master, can you, can you tell him his grandmother was just trying to work me over? It's time to call this whole thing off. Nobody's on our side. Are you nuts? Look at all these telegrams. Nice going, Libya. You the man, North Korea. Great job, Iraq. Iraq, Lois! You know what? I I'm, I'm gonna invite a few of these fellas over for a party. See, Lois, I told you we had allies. Hey, Slobodan, you made it. I didn't know what to bring, so I made coleslaw. It's made out of people. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, is Momar here yet? Yeah, he's over there with Saddam. And then Jerry guessed that her name was Mulva. <laughs> <laughs> that show was so funny. It really reminds me of me and my friends. You know, the way we just hang out before I kill them for worshipping the wrong god. Yeah, and I love that Kramer guy. He comes in the room like this. <laughs> well, I can't do it, but you know. Marco. Polo. Marco. Polo. Fish out of water. Oh. <laughs> yeah, those are looking good. Yeah. Ma Manuel. Manuel, do you want... Yeah, can you ask him if he wants cheese? Hey, hey, Fidel. No running around the pool. I say, I say, Ahmed, what, what, what is that thing you people do when, when, when you're about to assassinate an infidel? Ah, you mean this? <laughs> oh, God, yes, I love that. Insanity. Whoa, 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 where do you think you're going? America. I've had enough. You can keep this filthy mess you call a country. Come on, kids. This is treason. Oh, for God's sake, Peter, make an example of her. Nothing says obey me like a bloody head on a fence post. Let's go. We're crossing the border. Goodbye, President Griffin. Well, Brian, at least you're loyal enough to stay with me. Ah, I've stuck by you through worse. I guess it's you and me against the world, buddy. Attention, President Griffin. As you may presently yourself fully be aware of, my grammar sucks. But more importantly, we're about to commence Operation Bomb the Crap out of your house. The guy who thinks up the names is on vacation. Fire! To answer your question, something like that. The guy who aims was in the john. Yep, oh, here he is. Next one's coming right at you. Face it, Peter, it's over. Why don't you sit down with the mayor and negotiate some kind of treaty? Negotiate? Peter Griffin doesn't know the meaning of the word negotiate. Thank you all for coming. We invited Jesse Jackson to open our negotiations with a prayer. Ooh. Oh, my. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it. So in his place, we have Latoya Jackson. Thanks. Um, rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Thanks for the grub. Yay, God. How very inappropriate, thank you. Now, Mr. Griffin, would you like to begin? Okay. After much thought and consideration, I have decided to make a concession or two. Very good, Peter. First, I will return Joe's pool. Oh, you got that right. But in exchange, I demand access to it on alternate weekends. No. Accept it. I also demand to remain my own independent nation. Absolutely not. Well, how about you just give me a pen? You mean this cheap little pen we have millions of back at the office? Yeah. No. Oh, man, so after all this, I end up with nothing? How about this? Every night when you get home from work, I'll scratch your back with a matchbook cover like you like. Oh, Lois. Oh. Would you call me Big Rudy when you do it? No. And that's the story of Pretoria, a little nation that 200 years ago seceded and repatriated in less than a week. Any questions? Yeah, uh, I, I don't get it. So, like, can the family understand the baby, or, or, or what, what's the deal with that? Thank you.